In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can set up a SAS using Go High Level. So I'm going to start this completely from scratch in a completely new SAS Pro account. Now, if you don't have your account yet, I'll leave a link to this page in the description. And here the SAS Pro plan is included, which on the usual gohighlevel.com website you won't find. So if you click on the link in the description, it is my affiliate link, but through there you can actually get your 14 day free trial to the SAS Pro plan, where you get SAS mode, which is what we are looking for, on top of the ability to save 20% with annual plans, although I'm not sure if that's available on the SAS Pro plan. But just click start a 14 day free trial, enter your details, go to step two and in step two enter your payment details. Now after you create your account you will see something like this. Now the first step that you need to do is just connect Stripe. So click on connect Stripe and here click connect to your Stripe account and from here simply going to sign in to your Stripe account. Now here you can select a sub account of your Stripe account that you'd like to connect so you can create a new one although I'll just connect this one right here and click on connect. Then it will be returning to your Go High Level account and you have now connected your Stripe account. Now we can actually get to setting up your SaaS. So here in your dashboard, you can see your new customers. You can see your revenue every single month. Now this is coming from your Stripe account. You can see the amount of new customers, the total customers and all of that stuff. So this is a very helpful dashboard to see a quick overview of your MRR, your new customers and all of that. Now the important part is to go to the SAS configurator. Now if you have not yet decided what you want to include in each plan and at what price, then you can just go through that right here. Now usually when you are resending Go High Level as your own software, there is some kind of an angle that you need to take. You don't want to sell all of its features and you don't want to sell the software. You want to sell one feature and specifically the outcome of that feature. So for example, there are quite a few review management SAS that are created with Go High Level, where they are going to sell the reputation management feature that is found in Go High Level. And then you can have some features supporting that, such as funnels and whatever else you'd like to offer. Now, what I like to do is to just have one plan. So I'm going to delete two of the three plans right here. Although you can also set up multiple pricing plans if you prefer, and you can kind of split test that to see what works best for you. Now the price that I think is best is for a monthly plan, set it to $97 per month. And this is pretty much what all of the top Go High Level SaaS resellers are doing. And then for the annual price, I'll just set it to 10 times that. So in this case, that would be $970. Now you can set a user limit and contact limit if you'd like, but I won't do that and just click save changes. So now I have these two pricing plans and now in the plan details, you can give it a name, for example, full access or whatever else you would like to name it, then enter a description. So kind of what do they get in this plan and why should they start their free trial? Then in the features included, this is very easy. What I'm going to do is set up a reputation management says for this example. So then of course I want to have the reputation management included, but I am also going to add some additional features. So for example, the CRM could be helpful. However, a lot of things are of course helpful, but still I don't recommend adding everything. For example, if you're going to sell reputation management, there's no need to add in blogs or communities, but something that could still be helpful and that will get you more customers, then you want to add it in such as a funnel builder, and maybe if you are selling to service-based businesses, such as barbershops, you can sell the calendar functionality with automated email reminders and stuff like that. But what I'm going to do is remove the call tracking and the web chat and the text to pay. Then I'll also remove the messaging, the missed call text back, and I will only keep the two-way text and email conversation, reputation management, funnels, email marketing, and CRM. Now, actually on top of that, I do always recommend adding in the workflows so that people can actually set up automations. And then you also want to have the triggers along with the workflows. Then also include reporting so that they can see their analytics basically. 
So that's all I will include for this one, but you can also include websites, opportunities, invoicing, and Go High Level has a lot of features that you can sell. Now, if you have a pre-made snapshot that you would like to actually sell in your SaaS, then you can click add snapshot right there, and then it will have all the templates and stuff like that included. So you can just click add snapshot, and then here, if you have them, you can click on them or you can go to the account snapshots page. And you do want to go and set that up because then if you are serving to a specific niche, then you can set up specific funnels for them and it will make it better. But for now, I'll just click save changes right here. If you want to create a snapshot, just go to account snapshots right here and then click create new snapshot. Although what you can also do is import them, see your shared snapshots. And of course, Go High Level has snapshot templates that you can just pick from here. For example, if you are going to be focusing on dental businesses, then you can click create sub account and then just set up a sub account for it. And then you will have that snapshot as well. But for now, I'll just go back to the configurator right here. So we have now got this plan. So I'll click edit details again. Now you can go to trial and credits. Now for the trial period, I'm just going to set it to 14 days, but you can kind of experiment with what works best for you. So it could be seven days, 14 days, 30 days, whatever. But for me, I think 14 days is actually the best option. Now you can add credits upon sign up and the credits will be used for different types of things such as messaging and calling. Now, since I have the two way text and email conversations included, they are going to be using credits if they will use that feature, which means that I am going to give them recurring credits every month and I'll set it to 10 US dollars. You can also do one time if you just want to show them how it works or $5, for example. Now, one pretty underrated method to really make quite a lot of money from your Go High Level SaaS is to go to the rebilling right here. And then you can set up a pretty significant markup margin. So when people are getting their subscription, they won't really consider that they are going to pay for the messages. But I don't recommend making this too expensive because then people are just going to leave because it's just too expensive. But you can see for making calls, receiving calls and text messages, that is what you are using these credits for. Now you can do a markup all the way up to 10x. I don't recommend doing that. Maybe I'll set mine to 2.5x. So now for every minute that someone makes a call, I make about two cents. And for every single text message, I make a little over one cent. Now that could really add up. So you can also make your SaaS pretty inexpensive, for example, $47 per month, and then have this quite high, for example, 5x, and then you will be making a lot of money from the texts and messages and the calls. Now you also have other stuff such as email, content AI, conversation AI, reviews AI. And since my focus is on reviews AI, I want to include this. And then here you can choose how much you want the markup to be again. For example, if I would go with 2.5x again, then for every single review response, it will be 8 cents that charged to the customer. Then this right here is the price per review response and the charge to the customer is 2.5x. But if you go with 10x, then for example, it will be 80 cents, which is a bit too much in my opinion. So you can just set this up however you'd like and then click save changes. And you can even set up a domain purchase markup and WhatsApp conversations. And the conversation AI is on the website. So if you are setting a chatbot for people to add to their website, an AI chatbot, and you are going to set this up, then you could make a lot of money from this because this is going to be used a lot. For example, if you set it to 1.5x, then profit per message is one cent. And there could be thousands of messages every single day if it is being used by a pretty large business. So that's where you can make a lot of money as well. So that's how you can actually set up the SaaS itself. Now you can also add more plans if you want. And in the advanced settings right here, you can customize your welcome email. And in the subscription settings, you can suspend sub accounts when SaaS subscription fails, which I do want. Then allow sub account admins to upgrade their subscription. I only have one plan, so I don't need that. And allow admins to cancel their subscription. Of course, you want to have that on so that they can cancel it. 
Then in security, you can put new sub accounts on hold until reviewed and approved by an agency admin if you want. Now this won't be ideal for your customers. I'm going to leave that off. And you can verify a phone number using a security code during sign up if you want to do that as well, which will prevent fraud and chargebacks. So I'm just going to turn that one on as well. So now that you have configured your plan, you can go to the reselling part right here. There are more tools right here that you can resell, such as, again, the conversation AI, but you can even resell WordPress. So high levels price is $10, and then here you have your price. So you can even resell WordPress to your customers at a profit if you want. And you can even resell the ad manager, although there's also a tool out there called Uphex, and that should probably be in the marketplace apps right here, but I have 43 pages. But in here, there are also some apps that you could use for reselling that could also be very profitable for you. For example, resell unlimited business for workflows, resell unlimited products, and a lot of different things. Now, one SaaS idea that you could take a look at is reselling Uphex in your Go High Level SaaS. So Uphex is basically a tool that allows people to launch ads within a few clicks in quite a few different industries and it has a plugin with Go High Level where I can actually sell it in your SaaS and then you will basically have a SaaS that allows businesses to launch and optimize their ads within just a few clicks. Now I'll leave a link to Opex down in the description where you can kind of see if that is something that you would like to do or not. Now in the affiliate portal right here, you can also set up an affiliate program for your SaaS. Now to do this, you want to wait with actually completing your SaaS and setting it up fully. Now next, what I recommend you to do is to go to the settings in the bottom left. And from here, just set everything up, such as your platform language right here. For example, if your SaaS is going to be in a different language, such as Dutch, then now everything is going to be in Dutch for you as well as for your clients. Now you can also customize everything from here. For example, you can go to the custom menu link, create new, and then you can select an icon for your link. You can add a link title, URL, and you can just set that up right there as well. Now you can also have private integrations with third party apps through here. And you can also set up a mobile app right here. If you go to the mobile app section, you also have the ability to set up a mobile app for your SaaS. So you can use the high level app, lead connector, or your customized brand. This will cost a little bit of money, but it could be very helpful if you, for example, have a SaaS that allows your customers to message. And then if they want to do that on the go, then it's helpful if they have a mobile app as well. Now, one more thing that I forgot to mention from within these settings is where you actually want to add your logo. So go to company here, and then here you can simply go and upload your logo. Now I'll just upload a random thumbnail and click on upload, and you will actually see it show up in the top left. So that means that now you have added your branding. Now, when you scroll down a bit is where you can actually have your white label domain, which is probably something that you're gonna want to add. So here in the white label domain section, just go in and write out a domain that you have and then click add domain. And then here, click on continue. Now it will be setting up your domain and finding the details, the records and all of that. And then what you need to do is set up your domain by doing all of this. You can watch the help video if you want, but you need to go to your provider and then in the host section, add this right here, then in the required value, add this, etc. And once you've done that, click verify, and then it should connect to your white label domain so that then this domain will be the domain of your actual SaaS, and you have then set that up. Now down here, you can also choose the theme for your Go High Level SaaS. So you can have dark or light theme, but what you can also do is set up custom CSS. So if you have experience with that and you know how that works, then you can also set up your own custom CSS or JavaScript and then it can actually look how you want it to look. There are also services out there that I believe will do that for you for a specific price. Now, then you want to actually create a landing page for your SaaS. You can actually create it through Go High Level. For example, in this sub account that I have right here, I have one funnel that is not specifically for the SaaS, but it does eventually lead into the SaaS. But you can just go in and create your own landing page where you basically lead people to your Go High Level SaaS. You can also go to website and if you click new website and then from templates, you can see if you search for software, 
they do have two website templates right here if you search for SaaS, they also have one and basically you just want to set up a page where you can actually lead people to so that they can buy a subscription to your SaaS. Now, if you go to the SaaS education from within your agency view right here, then when you scroll down, you can actually watch these videos as well. So what we've done now is connect Stripe, configure your SaaS plans. And now what you want to do is build your pricing page, which is what I just went over. Now, I'm not going to go into how to do that exactly. You can just watch this video, but you need to switch to your sub account. So your agency sub account, then go settings, integrate the same Stripe account from step one and then build out your pricing slash sign up page, a two step order form to page, and then you're ready to go. And then once somebody opts in and basically starts their 14 day free trial, a sub account will be created automatically for them. And that is why you want to have the pro SaaS plan because then the auto sub account creation is enabled and rebuilding is enabled and also for conversation AI. Now again, if you want to get started with the SaaS Pro plan, you can click on the link down in the description. From here, you want to get the 497 per month SaaS Pro plan, which is totally worth it in my opinion. If you just get five people to sign up for your SaaS at $97 per month, then you already make that back. Now there are literally go high level SaaS businesses that are making hundreds of thousands of dollars in monthly recurring revenue. So it's definitely possible to make a lot of money with this. So click on the link in the description and then here click start 14 day free trial and then just follow the steps that I showed you in this video. If this video about how to set up your go high level SaaS was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.